Hello everyone and welcome back here on the new by my name's Hostess and today I have another PC video for you though I have to say that's a little bit unusual. I'm planning to do something for my living room where I want to have an actual PC not just a laptop you know something more uh, fixed basically and that's a little bit more powerful. I have a few Raspberry Pis here, I have a Steam Link here and they all don't really work in the way that I want them to so I got myself uh, into a lucky position where there was some office supplier who didn't need old PCs and from them I got them basically for nothing so this is what we're using <laughs> an old i5 3470 uh, CPU with no graphics card in there no hard disk drive and nothing else I have a few things of myself here before you and uh, I'm gonna build it up of course so that's what we'll do today, including software installation, a little bit of what I'm planning to do it. And in the second part, we we'll also go a bit into the software setup. So let's begin with this new bike in 2020. All right, welcome back. I already told you this PC does not have everything in it. So of course, there's a few bit of extra hardware that I need for this build. Uh, the first thing that I have is this WD Blue SSD, super cheap, uh, 500 gigabytes of space. I figured I'd rather go with an SSD still for this you know, small system. It does have SATA uh, 3.0 connectors and actually um, because it has an SSD, it doesn't have you know spinning uh, disks inside like an HDD. And in a living room, of course, I wanted to have it as wide as possible. Speaking of which, uh, there's also an intercooler inside there, but I figured I'd go and go a little bit premium with that. The CPU cooler will be from Noctua. This is the Noctua NHL9X65, which I use for this. This is uh, one where you just put on top and the air gets actually you know pushed away from it, not just pushed through. So uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not an expert. I have to look it up what well, actually this kind of CPU cooler um, style is called. It's not just, you know, one that goes through the sides. Should have looked that up really. <laughs> but whatever, it will be in the bottom row. That is as much as new hardware that I bought. And from the old hardware that I have, I have this Club Radeon AMD graphics card. This is the one which I played Crisis Free on back in the day. This is an AMD Radeon HD 7970. I even have the original box here. It has cool items on here like Coolstream. And it actually has even HDMI 1.4a, which goes up to 4962 3112 pixel in resolution. It has mini display port and even a dual link DVI cable output. So this could be really cool. I hope the power supply does take it, which I'm very sure of. And if not, I'm just gonna quickly go down the street to the hardware store that I have here around the corner and buy a new one. Last but not least, I also wanted to do something in the sound regard because it's a media center PC in the end and sometimes I just want to play music over it without having the TV on. For that I have this nice audio card here which I had since forever, like a decade ago I bought this one for an old PC of mine and uh, I couldn't use it in my new um, PC because it doesn't have the right PC uh, connector. So I can finally use it again in this old PC and this will be splendid because it has excellent audio output that I can connect directly to of course my audio system in the living room. So that's all the parts. Let's open it up what's really inside, take a look and clean it up of course. And then let's put everything together. So with this PC, we need to do actually something very interesting. First, I have to open it in the back here, which allows us to pull this one back. And then it actually opens up. So only then, you can open these locks, then pull the sides off. All right, so this is it. Very fascinating, of course. We have two sticks of RAM here, which we're gonna take out in a second. We have our Intel chip here, an Asura B75 Pro 3 actual motherboard with even PCI Express 3.0. We have, of course, LAN on board and everything else with this power supply here. And I basically want to take everything apart and clean it up first. So let's start with that.
that is I have no other idea what this is. Hopefully it's just dust, but it also looks a bit like pollen, so ew. <laughs> just taking this front cover off, it's just so symptomatic. So many like sharp edges that you really can cut yourself on. So many clamps here, things that stick into each other. Really tough to get off, but so worth it because you now I can take it apart and clean it up as well. Because as you can see, it's quite dirty and needs a little bit of a scrub down at least. So yeah, let's uh, continue cleaning up. <laughs> almost done everything has been prepped cleaned and now we just need to put it on back together again hope so far it was interesting for you i definitely had some interesting thing and you just need to take it all apart especially with these old you know cheap cases which are basically there with, with so many sharp edges they just cut your hands up more the time and so far i got lucky so knock on wood that it stays that way Oh yeah, let's put it all back together again. Alright, and here we are. And I noticed something quite embarrassing. I should have seen that immediately, but the moment I started, you know, putting in the AMD graphics card, I noticed like, hang on, there is no power for that cable. And there's some cables up there, but they're all Molex or that smaller form factor of that. They are not the one required that I need to power this GPU. So right now, the only thing that I can use is the internal graphics card of the Intel chip. And that lets me at least do some basic activities, you know, I can connect it to a monitor, I can install at least the um, system OS and everything, and already installed at least the um, audio card that I also want to use for that. 
it's good to see that everything fits in there. I have taken away this case here because I was thinking, okay, uh, I don't need a drive up here. I will download everything anyway. So I put in the SD in top here, just crammed it in there. The case is closed. Nobody will see it anyway. But at least, you know, for my ease of mind, I put it away the cables a little bit. Took that cage out because there's literally no use for that. And instead, there's a little bit of room at least, you know. So some air can at least go through there. I installed that new Noctua cooler for the CPU, which looks quite cool actually. You just scram it on there and it will go to the side anyway. But what's really cool at least is that this thing is here and I will turn it on soon at least to see if it actually works halfway. But yeah, that graphics card thing actually annoys me because I wanted to use it for some retro gaming like playing for example, I don't know, Half-Life 1 and 2, you know in the living room on the big 4k screen with best graphics card that could be really cool i hope that it works i think at least half-life one isn't that intensive as a game in performance need so definitely we could still get a lot of out of this pc but if i have to change you know the psu already i may as well also change the case and maybe go for something different where i can put it all in maybe even in a little smaller case you know uh, where I can still use at least the motherboard and everything that's in there, but if I have to replace the PSU, uh, it has to be seen how much more I can do anyway. So yeah, that's it for the first part. And um, yeah, I will come back in a second video and talk about, and yeah, I will do a second video where I'll continue about this PC, how it works for me actually, if the uh, i5 3470 is actually enough for all my needs, if the coolers work and everything. So stay tuned for that, subscribe to not miss a new video, and I hope you liked it. Of course, my name is Elsa, here for the new bad. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon again.